What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to be walk-off hero and any walk-off hero event. Um, definitely one of the most sought out events to beat, of course. Uh, here's the tower for today. And the reason that you'd want to beat walk-off hero is for the XP and the cash and obviously the good player. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do that. And I also want to say that this is going to be a very long video. Um, Probably about 20 minutes, however, it's definitely going to be an in-depth video on how to be walk-off hero. So if you're struggling, I definitely recommend you stay till the end. And I usually don't do this, but this is a bigger video, so I just want to say that only a small percentage of you guys are actually subscribed to the channel. So I'd really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button, um, almost on a thousand, only a couple hundred away. So I'd really appreciate it, and thank you to the guys who have subscribed. So first I'm going to start out with before you actually tackle walk-off hero. And I do have some footage lined up, by the way. Um, I'm not going to be playing this tower now. But how to set it up. So basically, what you want to do is you want to look at your guys. And you want to bat all the right-handed people versus left-handed pitchers. And all the left-handed pitchers versus right-handed um, batters. Uh, so vice versa. And some people say that this doesn't work. However... I definitely know it works because if you go to customer service, Glue even mentioned that you have more success when you do this. So uh, that's just something to keep in mind. And you might be like, how do I know who's coming up? Um, on screen now is a picture of, for both towers, the Hall of Fame and the Event Royale Tower, of uh, who the pitchers are. So if it's an L, then you want to use the right-handed batter. And if it's an R, you want to use the left-handed batter. Um, and yeah, just keep in mind that. And also, if you're watching this video in the future, the towers have definitely changed. So these uh, certain handedness don't still apply to you. And also, uh, I hate to break this to some of you, but you have to be in at least silver tier, um, high silver tier, or gold tier to beat walk-off hero. Um, I barely beat walk-off hero, and my team strength was around 70,000 when I beat it. Now it's more because I got better players, but... My team strength was about 70,000 when I beat it. So that's a pretty good margin. You have to be at least 70,000 team strength silver. And if you're watching this in the future, it's obviously going to be more. Um, and the reason behind this is there isn't really a good reason. It's just it's just coded into the game. You have to be uh, somewhat know what you're doing. So yeah. Um, so now let's get into how to actually play Walk-Off Hero. Alright guys, so I have some footage. Um... So, the first thing you want to do is you want to basically cash play um, the first six or seven. Uh, it just makes your time a lot easier. And uh, By the way, I'm only going to be showing uh, level five with this. And I'm also going to be fast forwarding a lot through uh, when I failed. And you'll see how much I failed. But uh, yeah, so as you can see, I'm just cash playing to uh, round six out of ten. And now I'm going to manually play this. So, the first tip I want to show you guys is hitting to opposite field. And as you can see, I just hit a walk-off home run there, but hitting to opposite field. And again, some people think that this might not work. However, um, the reason that this works is you get more hits because the infield is usually shifted. Now, when the infield's shifted, they're going to be playing more on the uh, handedness of your hitter uh, side of the infield. So that's why uh, hitting to the other side works. And... Yeah, as you can see, um, the left side of the infield in this clip is pretty empty. Um, and also, you just get more hits. And uh, here's an example of actually the next thing I was going to talk about, and that is curveballs. So you want to look at the situation when you're swinging at these. Um, and what I mean by that is curveballs over the um, corners of the plate. So basically, corners are like, you know, you know what corners are if you've played baseball before, obviously. But um, basically, it's like the left and the right side of the plate. And sometimes the pitches that glue gives you will go to those corners. And I'm just going to tell you guys right now, these will always be an out. Um, never going to hit on one. Sometimes the curveballs are curve over the middle of the plate, and those are actually possible to hit. However, some are don't. So when you want to swing at these, well... You'll see some examples later on when you want to swing on these and when I made a mistake. But basically, you just want to look at the situation. 
Uh, if you want to move the runners, um, then I'd swing at it. But if it would cause a double play, then don't swing at it. Double plays are like one of the most annoying things you can do. And uh, by the way, here's y Ryan Yarbrough, um, probably one of the most annoying pitchers in walk-off here, just cause the amount of junk he throws. And there's one of those pitches on the corners. Again, you will never get a hit. And in this situation, I don't want the double play, so I'm not going to swing. I'd rather strike out than get a double play. And there's another one. And as you can see, here's the double play. I probably shouldn't have swung at that either. And Oh, I got lucky. Never mind. But, um, yeah, there's an example of that. And then, um, yeah, this time I just failed. And uh, now I'm basically going to get into the next part of Walk of Hero, which is the patient factor. Um, patience. And by the way, here's me uh, getting boost and uh, restarting. Usually you want a video start on uh, 9.10 or 10.10. But for some reason, I decided to do it earlier here. Probably just for the video. But you want to basically watch... Uh, videos to boost your guys on like the last two as well um but anyway what was i saying oh yeah the patience factor so walk off hero is basically a game of patience um if you guys remember the pitching lab tower uh, that was all skill and it was really easy there's really not any skill associated with walk off Hero, honestly um ha what having better players does it basically just reduces the odds of you getting out um and that's what, of course, batting boosts do. And that's what literally every tip I'm telling you guys. It's basically just reduces the chance of getting out. Uh, it's definitely a patience thing. There's no, like, special way to hit the ball. I mean, opposite field, but there's no way to, like, you know, get a hit every time. And as you can see, I'm fast-forwarding through the footage that I failed through. And to put things in perspective, this is a 20-minute video. Um probably had an hour of footage and that's probably a third of the f time I spent actually playing this tower um, and also another disclaimer this is the event royale tower this is not the walk of hero hall of fame tower um, however there really isn't much of a difference if I'm gonna be honest between the two and um, if you beat the event royale tower it still counts towards that club challenge um, so I thought you guys should tell that but yeah it's really just a patience game um, and like I was saying, 20-minute um, video, an hour of footage, that's probably a third of the amount of time I played, so I probably spent like three hours playing. And here I finally get back to Ryan Yarbrough, um, and you'll see what luck does and like pitches, um, what certain pitches will do. Again, now he's throwing him down the middle, and I actually hit into a double play here, which is really annoying. Um, but I do believe I beat him here. Yeah, as you can see, he's throwing it down the middle for me. Before, he was throwing it on the corners, and those are impossible to hit. And let's see what I do here. Again, I'm swinging opposite field. It's finding a way into right field for base hits. When you pull it, too, usually you'll get pop-outs. Um, so just less hits. And you should also look at the skills your batters have. Um, like for here, Machado's was runners on base. Um, and... For all lefty batters or switch hitters that you want to use for walk-off hero, and I got lucky there. I actually pulled that. Um, but anyway, all lefties um, and switch hitters you want to use mainly for walk-off hero, I'd put a walk-off hero X factor on. Again, it reduces the odds of getting out. And here I get to Chad Cool, who is probably one of the most annoying pitchers in walk-off hero. Um, I kind of say that about all the like 5'10 guys or like level five like last four guys but i mean they're just really annoying if i'm to be honest and here i actually didn't do my homework good enough and here's an example of me i'm gonna fail this uh spoiler i'm gonna fail this i'm using righty versus righty and there's one on the corner by the way again hit that deep but it'll always be an out and i should have probably not swung there if i'm to be honest because i could have hit into a double play but, yeah, I'm using righty on righty, and it just... I think the pitchers also throw more stuff when it's righty on righty or lefty versus lefty. And I am going to fail here, by the way. And, oh, wait, never mind, I won't. Um, got lucky. Again, that was a curveball that went over the middle of the plate. But um, in this next round, you're going to see where my luck will run out with the... 
thing. And here's lefty on lefty versus Blake Snell, who's the last guy, who tends to throw a lot of curveballs, as you'll see. Um, I got on right away, which was actually surprising. But especially lefty on lefty, they love to throw bad pitches to me when it's lefty on lefty. So, yeah. And actually, I'm getting some good swings off right now. However, my luck will run out if you guys just wait a minute. Um, again, I'm getting hits. I'm hitting it opposite field, which definitely helps. And there's the junk on the... That was just a fastball, yet yeah, it's on the corners. Again, corners equal bad. And there's another one. I was getting really mad, but I mean... I wasn't getting two max. I knew that I wasn't using a righty here. If I was using a righty here and lost, I'd get really mad. I tend to get pretty mad at Walker Firo. It's probably one of like the most rage-inducing events there is. It, or it probably is the most, um, if you guys know. Definitely raged a lot during this. But once you beat it, it's pretty satisfying, especially that first time of the year. And here comes more fast-forwarding. Um, a lot of fast-forwarding. And also, I do want to mention, um, as far as box openings are concerned, I'll probably have one on Wednesday if there's a first baseman. Again, I'm still looking for a first baseman, by the way. Uh, not to get off topic from the walk-off hero video, of course. And I will upload a separate video for walk-off hero Hall of Fame for you guys. Um, again, like I said, it's really not that much different from the Event Royale Tower. And in some cases, the Event Royale Tower is actually a little harder. Like uh, last year, there were some cases. But usually that's not the case. And the players you'll win from Walk of Hero aren't really that good at this point in the year. But once like Primes come out and Legends come out, um, it'll be definitely worth it for you guys to get these guys. And I'm out of cash here, actually, so I have to manually play this. Um, Walk of Hero takes a lot of cash. It is one of the best ways to make cash, however, you have to be like really good at it to actually profit cash because you end up spending a lot of cash um, auto-playing. At least I do. I mean, honestly, like I used to, like when I first started playing the game in like, 2020, I used to actually manually play like, everything. That just got really boring really fast. That's why I auto-play with cash. Uh, you could manually play everything, but I mean, I just don't think it's worth it. As you can see, I'm losing a lot here. Just a lot. And, yeah, it's rough out here. <laughs> uh, looks like I forgot to time-lapse this. It's so whatever, I'll keep talking to you guys. And also, let me know in the comments below if you're still watching. <laughs> um, I'm surprised if you are still watching. I want to thank you, though, if you are still watching. But let me know in the comments below if you have beat Walk Off Hero yet this year. Um... Most people probably haven't. Uh, I was actually probably one of the first people in my club to be walk-off hero. It's just one of those things where, I mean, it's like it just takes an extreme amount of patience. I'm just going to keep saying that over and over again. It takes an extreme amount of patience because you just lose over and over and over again. But eventually, when you win, it's great. So, yeah. And I think I'm actually just going to make a cut in the video now because I've kind of run out of things to talk about. So I'll see you guys then. Alright guys, so we're back on my friend Chad Cool. Um, this time I'm using a lefty, so the odds of me winning go up a lot. And as you can see, good start. Um, hitting oppo. And I'll basically tell you what's going through my head. Here, runner on second, so I'm obviously going to swing no matter what happens. Um, and there's one that broke over the middle of the plate. So I love hitting those. Because those are actually usually a hit. 5-4 um, to four already. Looking good. There's a bad pitch. I'm going to swing here. Because I have a runner on second. So I'm not going to hit a double play. And I would like to move him over to third. But that's not the case. Um, looks like we have one out now. Um, Rope that one to right field. Got pretty lucky. And here's a nice double play situation. And um, he didn't throw me a bad pitch. He threw me a fastball. So I crushed it. And now we are on Blake Snell, the last guy. Let's see if I can beat him this time. Uh, it's been rough. Uh, and I think I'm going to use Tim Anderson for this. Because he is a righty. And he has 
uh, basically sort of a blowout skill, um, and a fire skill, I believe, or a runner on base skill. He probably isn't the best person to use for this because the thing starts out with no one on base, and that's a good hack to begin with. And as you can see, I hit a home run. I think that's a home run. Yeah. Um, I hit a home run right away, which I probably honestly wouldn't have wanted because I want to activate Tim's skills. And that's right at the dude. Uh, I hate when that happens, but it does happen. And now he's actually throwing some nice fastballs. Again, I love hitting fastballs, and again, he's right there again. That usually doesn't happen, honestly. But in this clip it did, and now he's just going to throw me some absolute junk, which will end up in my defeat. So, yep, hate to see it, but it happens all the time. And now we're going to fast forward again. Um, or, no, I watched the video so I could restart. Um, again, he's throwing me absolute junk. Can't do anything about it. That I could have done something about. Sometimes they'll throw balls. I'm actually kind of mad I swung at that. Um, but it usually doesn't happen. Um, you just have to have a really good eye. My eye is pretty good. But it could be better. And again, there's another one. Just on the corners. You can't hit him. It's impossible. And Marty out. Two outs. Down by five. It's not looking too good. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to foul some off. No skills activated either. And space it. Okay, there might be hope. Um, I'm going to tell you guys, though, I don't beat him here. <laughs> again, there's a curveball in the corner. Can't hit it. And that is it. And I'm facing him again. Alright, so this might be the time I actually beat him, if I'm not mistaken. Um, don't remember. But that's actually a really good start. And see what I do next. Again, he's throwing me fastballs now, so crush the fastballs. I'd lay off on the curveballs unless it's over the middle. And now we're actually hitting pretty well. It's already going to be 8 to 4 runners on second and third. Let's see what I do here. Um foul that one off. Actually no, that's fair. Yep. Barely fair. And it's 8 to 6. I think this is where I beat um Blake Snell. Let's see what our situation is. We have a runner there. Uh in this situation I love to actually like exaggerate swinging very late as you can see I swung very late there cuz sometimes you'll hit it right back to the pitcher and he'll just throw it home usually the dude's safe but glue calls you out either way and here's an absolute horrible pitch however I do want to move him to third base so I am gonna swing here um, didn't work out however we only have one out so we're looking pretty good and as you can see there it is walk off home run um, and it's time to celebrate. So walk off here are completed. And let's see what I got. Share that with the club, of course. And I got some XP boxes and the player. So you'll love to see that. Um, and now let's get into the outro of this video. All right, guys. So that'll do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're still watching at this point, I want to thank you so much. This was definitely one of the longest videos on my channel. However... I want to give you guys an in-depth guide on how to be walk-off hero. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below or PM me in-game. Um, if I'm going to be honest, my private messages are a little glitched because um, I get so many. I love them, of course, but I do get a lot, and I don't think the game's meant to handle that many. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Take care, and have a great day.